Life's a mess, don't stress, bless. I'm giving up everything for that you're living, bless. Much love to my brothers in the bed. See you when I'm free, and if not, when they jump me in. Once again, it's an all out bet. Keep your hands on your cat, and your boys, watch your back. Cause if they catch you in the alley, I tell ya, mess with the best, and the best couldn't help you. Uh, scream! Feel me, see it clearly. Holla if you hear me. There's a brand new musical coming to Broadway, and it uses the lyrics of Tupac Shakur. We're here in rehearsal to find out all about Holler If You Hear Me. Tell me about what we saw here today. Oh, you guys just saw the hottest, newest musical that's coming to Broadway, Holler If You Hear Me. Welcome to Holler If You Hear Me. Uh, we just get to introduce a little bit of what we're doing to the world and uh, more to come. So let's set the record straight. This is not about Tupac Shakur. This is not an autobiographical story. This is a fictional story that uses Tupac's lyrics to tell an original story. So there's different characters, there's different points of view, so he is not a character. Hall If You Hear Me is about two good friends, and one of these guys is really trying his best to not go back into his old ways. He's been to prison, he's trying to turn his life around. It's like a little bit of a musical, a little bit of a play, a little bit of a hip-hop concert, a little bit of a political lecture. It's all of that in one. Holler is, has been a dream of all of ours for four years. And to have it up on its feet and running and dancing, and jumping, it's just, uh, it's exciting. It's really, really exciting. Oh, ground! Uh, round and round, uh, round and uh, I get around! Why ain't call you? Please. Oh. And you're working with a great ensemble of singers and dancers. Tell me about that. Um, it's We pull people from all over the place. Uh, Hip-hop world, musical theater world. This ensemble is amazing. I mean, first of all, I mean, they embody what Tupac is about, his energy, his poetry, his music, and they're able to take that and transform that into this musical. The youthful energy of them is just thrilling. I think yesterday was the first time I got to see Holler, if you hear me, and I was like, whoo, puddle in my panties. Oh my God, it's just raw masculinity coming at you in a way that I've never seen on a Broadway stage. So. I think this is going to be a ladies' night show. <laughs> I love the sassy ladies of the ensemble. Tell me about that. Oh man, I love my girls in the ensemble. We get to perform a really popular Tupac song um, that's called Keep Your Head Up. Tupac's lyrics are really empowering to women. And so the song Keep Your Head Up is performed by the women. I get to rap, and these girls, we get to dance, we get to sing, we get to let the guys know, you know what we're all about and, and that we're strong women and that we're really positive and that we have a lot to offer to the world. Hey guys, we all came from a, a woman. woman. Got our name from a, a woman. woman. And our game from a woman. woman. I wonder why we take from our women, why we rape our women. Do we hate our women? I think it's time to kill for our women. It's time to heal our women. Be yeah. real to our women. Because if we don't, we'll have a race of babies that'll hate the ladies that make the baby. Why is this show right for Broadway? Why isn't it right for Broadway? I mean, there's nothing that isn't that that isn't dramatic and thematically important about the way that that uh, Tupac shaped his songs and shaped his career. It's indicative of our time. It was, he he spoke to the things that we cared about. He made us care about things we didn't know about. I want all of America to come. And like most of my Broadway shows, many times it's the most diverse audience on Broadway. You know, and, and I like that. I love when people who are different from each other sit next to each other. This play, the Holler If You Hear Me, is essentially, I think it's Pac saying like, can you hear me through the, the way the media has obscured my message? Can you still hear me through the system? And, and, and look at it, like he's beat the system. Tupac is on Broadway, he has officially beat the system. It's gonna affect people emotionally, you know, mentally, spiritually, and it's necessary. Isn't it? Don't think it's a, it's a one-way streak here, because it's not. This message was about peace and about uplifting and empowering women and African-American people and all people. I think what's going to happen is that he's going to be elevated to the point of being, of really entering the American canon, you know, the Norton anthologies of, of poetry and, and what have you, because he really did amazing work. But I'm not, we still pray.